Oh hey guys, come on over. We gotta decorate the master bedroom for summer. And there's a bonus. We're gonna do the loft as well. Right here on my take on Home and Garden. Well guys, it's gonna be good. Let's look at what we had before I start the changeover. And I'm going to show you everything I want to use for that right now. Okay guys, we'll take a look at the bedroom first. If you recall where we were, we had the snowdrop shears for spring. And the white shams and bedspread have been removed. Now we're going to go with our Charleston chirp pattern again that we used last year. We love this and the feel, the quilted lighter blanket for summer. And here's the Valance for the curtains that'll have the two inch blinds. And then last year I noticed the one curtain was really stretched across, so I picked up another Valance. Here are the florals I'm going to work with for these two vases. We've got yellow orchids. We've got plumeria. I think I'll do the bedroom and then we'll go to the loft. Let's get that done for you. Too sweet. Alrighty, we have our little bud vase. About all that little vase can handle is, I'm thinking these two elegant and summery yellow orchids. Check it out. Okay, we'll find the right spot, but I think probably on this little table. The bigger vase will accommodate much more for us. So a couple of ostrich fern, peach colored phalaenopsis orchid, Plumaria frajapani. Ooh, I think it's gonna go over here on this little stand. I always put an arrangement on that stand. This year, I'm just seeing these beautiful ginger jars, one on each bed stand. And there's still room for Angela's notepad, whatever she needs there. Plenty of room because I need this color over here. Wonderful. <laughs> Now I suppose we should finish making the bed. Oh, we've actually been excited about having this back on the bed. And a couple of you folks said you had this set by Waverly and we'll link it in our description box. We just love their line of linens. Very nostalgic to Victorian. If you want to go there, Grand Millennial, which I know we get near and touch on from time to time, but English Country Manor House is king here. Second pillow with the pillow sham and that finishes off your queen size bed. I don't have to tell you. I'm gonna do the curtains for you with no further ado. Okay, so does everybody understand what I had to do here? I put the uh, shears on the back shear rod because they were on the front. Then I took the front rod and put the valances on. 
the two, when there's two like this, I always pin it or clip it. And that's the name of that. Good looking curtains. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Because that one was a genuine pain in the sash. <laughs> now we're going to the loft. Are you ready? Okay, here we are in the loft. Now I will take you and show you what I'm gonna use in the loft today. But I'm gonna show you this quick arrangement first. We're gonna do Fiddler Fern. I think is appropriate for the style. We have Tropical Philodendron. A really different silvery and red leaf. How about Heliconia? That grows here if it likes you. <laughs> we used to have it, but it likes to be fussy, so. How about something I do grow a lot of is the Frajapani again. Okay, and a couple of exotic seed pods here I thought would be cute in this. We'll have them hang out. That'll see them. Then this is going to go on the corner table. And we'll show that in a second. We're going to be a little different here. Although we're going to use some of the same colors as we did in the living room. That wonderful rusty coral. And we're going to have an African theme here for the summer. So we've gathered up anything animal print and we've got the cutest pillowcases from the Royal Seamstress Miss Elizabeth right there. That's what I'm keying off of, you see the cream terracotta and the elephant. Now, if you've been with us, you've saw me pick up some new things. Wonderful, like this tropical custom Ken Jenkins piece of wonderful art crockery with palms. We have a black panther from the 50s. Jumping koi. And an incredible teak box from the 50s or 60s. And a wonderful cast iron elephant with his trunk up. Here's a more modern one, or like an Indian elephant, with his trunk down. Love them all. And a candlestick with a palm frond. Look. And this wonderful metal jug with the cream and earthy green patina. Now I'm going to get them put around and we'll do the pillows too, right now. And I love how these girls want the air on all the time and then they get a chill at night and want a blankie. So we'll put one up here available as well. How are we doing so far? Ken Jenkins, incredible jar. We could mimic that 
with this jar and this glass table, which I think I really like. I think this elephant's gonna replace the swan in the shell as we come in. Take a look at the rest of our, just our last few little bits. And this goes quick, like you know. Now, I'm gonna finish this off. I'm gonna bring the seashells and coastal and nautical things down a bit and get that out of the limelight and put a couple different things up and then I'm going to take you and show you all around. Okay guys, let's look at the loft for summer. You see, we've just got a whisper of terracotta in our decor for summer. We get an African flavor with the elephants. The beautiful custom pottery. A specialty arrangement. And I did separate the colored pillows so that each end had some of that wonderful coral terracotta color. We'll get back and see that match. Sweet little table piece with collectible vintage pieces just divine. Here's our other corner table. Still can push the pot back and get your coffee or your soda pop on there for the family movie. Or the movie with guests. Not too much different had to happen on the shelves. We have a lot of multiple colors and of course Egypt is in Africa so I think that just works continuously. My favorite elephant, an antelope horn. And you can see the fun you can have 
what just a couple of different pillows will do for you for your room change. Now we're going to go see what a couple of curtains and pillows do for your room change. Don't mind the drum set just because it's the first thing through the door. <laughs> Here's our wonderful eclectic antique fair flea market circus collectibles, wonderful trucks and stake beds, Capo de Monte, and some Greco Roman pieces to beat the band. And the fellas with the coke cart. <laughs> Always gotta be different. Move your things around, change it up, put a smile on your face, because you certainly have the right to be happy. Now one last surprise in the master is these incredible pillowcases sent to us by our wonderful friend, Jessica. Thank you, Jess. And then of course our new porcelain in the blue and white and yellow. You see how that table came together with a little pooty writing a love note. And my wonderful favorites, the Crico Roman, Alabaster, and bonded marble pieces and our glorious orchid arrangement for the summer. bed set. So guys, if you like our decorate, the master bedroom and the loft with me, give us a like, a share, a comment, tell a friend. We appreciate you and we care about everybody in our YouTube family for four plus years. Bye right, guys, take care now and we'll see you in the next incredible collectible haul and the cook with me.